please follow the link to our Algo Order page, and please download the link from this section here for version 19.6 and higher, even if you have QTrader. So what you want to do, find the algo you're interested in. Today we're going to look at the DWAP. We'll download that as that's downloading. As a reminder, these are small applications. They're running on your PC. They're not running at the exchange here. So what you want to do is just follow this down here, read through it. These are rough templates that you can, you know, manipulate these algos in any way you feel. And there's a lot of files right here that you can get into the programming. So once that's downloaded, we'll look at that here. Let run anyways. Next, 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 install here. So it's finished there. Uh, what you can do is come here. You can typically type algo. It should come up. If not, you can hit apps. It should be in the list. If it is not there, you can click on the Windows icon here. Go down to your CQG folder, and it will definitely be there. So there's the TWAP. We'll click that to run. Now, if you look down here, you will see TWAP starting to run right here. You'll get notifications. We could also shut those off as if they get a little cumbersome. Now, please, I should say, hopefully you had CQG running that whole time when you did. Now what we're going to do is we are going to check out the settings for that. And if you look, we did run the algo. And if you look under here, under this OCO link here, you will see TWAP available there. Okay, if you look right here in the bottom right hand corner, we have the algo adapter running. Highlight over it, you see TWAP. You may have to click right here and it could be in here as well. So if you right click here, what we'll do is we'll go to Configuration Manager. If you click here, you can set this to error. Right now, probably it defaults to info, and that's why you keep getting those pop-ups. If you set it to error, just hit save, it will restart the algo, and then you can go right here, and I like to just go to profile manager, and here is where you're gonna see there's three different settings here for chunk size, time interval, and duration. You can pick two at a time. Typically, duration, time, so we'll take a look at some of these. So if we hit okay, we look here on the upper left hand corner in our DOM, our depth of market trader here, click the OCO link, and we'll hit time weighted price. So say right here, I want to sell 20 lots at 28.86. Now, if we look, if I put one lot here, or say 21 lots here, so if I put a one, it's gonna place one lot every three seconds at this price. If the distance is set to zero, it's going to place it, keep it at my exact price. If I set the distance to three, it's always gonna place an order three ticks from the market. Execute immediately means it'll start working immediately. You could also delay it by unchecking and setting a time. So here we go, we're gonna place the order. It should be placing one every three seconds, three ticks from the market. Now, if you put distance, it's going to ignore this price. It's just gonna look at the distance from the market. So here we go, place the one. So every three seconds, we should see another. And there we go, it keeps placing it every three seconds. It's always moving at three seconds from the market. One thing to note, again, if you want to sell, say example, we wanted to sell 20, and say we can put 10% in do the same exact setting, so it'll break it up by percentage if you use percentage. So, so here we go, so now it's gonna place, again, every three seconds, three ticks from the market, it's going to place in order that is 10%, our chunk size is gonna be 10% of our total order size. So there we go. And again, some other settings for you to check out here. If we right click again on the adapter, we can go to profile manager. And here we can again, so say we wanted to forget about chunk size, we just wanna look at time interval and duration. So we'll hit okay. Again, the algo is gonna restart. Let's go back here and hit TWAP again. So here I'm gonna sell 20 lots. So I want to sell 20 lots here. Now, this is what's interesting. If I'm selling 20 lots, the time interval is five seconds and duration is 20 seconds. So it's going to mathematically break it up. So it should start placing five lots. So every five seconds over a 20 second period. And then again, I'm going to keep it two ticks from the market and I'm going to execute it immediately. So here we go. Every five seconds, we should see another five lot get entered in from our distance from the market. There we go. Beautiful day on the market today. 
And there we go. Yeah, please check out all the settings, play around with them. Definitely go into demo mode, it's very important. And please contact us if you have any questions.